sneak loose, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Another one. Whoa, I'm on a roll again. Whoa. Right, now we're back with Kuban 2. Yeah, Kuban 2. 22.10. There's a particular reason why I'm doing Kuban 2. I could have gone with KDE Neon or another KDE distrib- distribution. Sorry for my language. I think I've had too many apple juices. Um, excuse me. Uh, Dragon Ball Jitsu, who I've known for donkeys, donkeys years here on the tube. He put in this, the last video I put out, and one before, about XSE's bulging RAM usage. And he's quite correct, um, especially on real hardware. I'm not sure about in a virtual box, we're about to find out. But yes, why does KDE use less than XFCE? Hmm. Bear in mind that the ISO for Kubuntu is 4 gigs. That's a mighty fine ISO. We're getting into DVD territory, if you still use DVDs. I do, I still burn DVDs, guys. So, um, And bigger than the average USB keys. Although they're about 60, 16 to 32 now, aren't they, really, in all honesty. So anyway, I thought, let's give it a quick look round and see how it performs. Right, I'm going to tell you straight out of the box... It doesn't perform particularly well in VirtualBox at the moment. But I'm awaiting some updates for drivers for my main system. And I'm going to put that down as the cause. But we're going to go and have a quick look anyway. So Kubuntu 22.10. So that's a short release. It's not a long-term release. Okay. As you can see, I've installed Google Chrome. I've enabled KDE extensions as well. I don't know. Was it Plasma extensions? I thought that was quite cool, to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, lucky, lucky. Right. I'm going to admit this. I have not used this sort of KDE for uh, a very long time. So when I say you're going through the video with me, you basically are. Because I don't know what I'm doing. And I've been using Linux for ever. So let's go. Let's have fun. Okay. Now on the whole, it looks like a Basic desktop. Oh, by the way, I've set it to dark theme. What the light seems far too bright, and the what the, the desktop it comes without the box. Oh my, does me head in. I thought it was at school again. Blimey. And I work in a school. Okay. We're going to go to the menu. No, we won't. We're going to go to the taskbar. So right on the end here, we get minimize all the windows. We get our time and date. We get our show hidden icons, our network, and our sound. That took out quite a bit. It struggled. Okay. And of course, I've installed Google Chrome and it's gone into the bar. But then you get your file manager, which is Dolphin here, and Discover Software, which is basically a software setup, but completely different from all the others. Oh, yeah. Then here we have our system settings. Then right on the bottom left hand, we have our application launcher. So I'm going to click on that first. And as you can see, you can't move it, of course. Google Chrome's here, Discover's here, System Settings here, because they're in our favourites. Okay. Oh, console's here. Ah. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. We'll open console up. I've actually installed HTOP, so I didn't have to, but I thought, you know, give it a bit of a go. So at the moment, I'll chuck that up there for the moment. We're using 695 of RAM. I mean, bearing in mind, I'm going back to the days, the last time I used KDE, it was getting onto a, a gig of RAM, and you wasn't seeing the improvement. But that's a really, really long time ago now. So I think that's quite good. XFCE, we're going to measure again in tomorrow's video. With Zubuntu 2210. Okay. And we'll see how we get on. So keep that little thing in mind. 696. Just on boot up. Okay. So that's not too bad. I can live with that. Okay. On real hardware, this is, this will just fly anyway. It's not meant to run in the box, to be honest with you. Not on this machine I'm using here anyway, to be honest with you. So yeah. So H hey, stops there. I go back here. Applications. Arc. Archiving tool. Yeah. I remember that from the old ones. Emoji select. What is the emoji select? I don't even want to know. Oh, it's all oh, in alphabetical order. I like that. That's okay. Uh, Gwenview. I remember Gwenview. Yeah, that's still there. Help and H top. Yeah, still there. The info center. Should we have a look at that? Let's have a quick go. Oh, that's quite good, isn't it? So yeah, this is showing everything I need to know really. Yeah, that's quite good. Should we go to our system monitor? Yeah, a quick look. Oh, let's have a go. So, if we 
just drag that down a bit so we know what we're coming into. Oh, and drag him over as well because we've got both open. Was that really necessary? Well, I'm not sure if that's necessary. We don't need to have both the overview and the system monitor open, do we? Hmm, okay. Oh, I'll, I'll get rid of that. And we'll just keep that one open. Okay. So now we're using one gig according to the system monitor, but according to HTOP, we're only using 822. Bit of discrepancy here. We call that the virtual box discrepancy. What else is it saying to me? So bring it up so we can have a look. It's telling me what's using what. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the plasma system monitor is using the most at the moment, so it seems. Okay, fair enough. Applications. Yep. So actually, it's all in the overview, really. Don't really need to do anything. Okay, interesting. Remember, I've not used KDE for a really long time. Probably longer than somebody being alive. Okay, anyway. Oh, yeah. Alphabetic order. So we go down. Right, another reason I wanted to get back into KDE was for KDE Connect and KDE SMS. I mean, they have a sort of same system on Zorin, and that would be really, really useful for me, because I'm fed up with keep looking at my phone all the time when I could get notifications on my desktop. And yes, I know there are other applications, but it would be nice to have it inbuilt into the system. Um, isn't, has GNOME got one? If they, oh, sorry, GNOME. If they have, someone let me know. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay. Okay, we're in case of console. It's getting useful with a cuss again. We used to have a lot of cuss years ago. Oh, c -c 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 -c. Uh, menu editor, okay. The package manager, move on. Ocular for your documents, okay. Pulse audio. Scan light for doing your scanning. Right, this is where I had trouble. So if I click on scan light, it would not connect to my wireless printer stroke scanner. Whereas everyone else I've tried in the Bantu range actually detects it straight away. So I'm going to reload again just in case it might work. This would this be a no no, folks. I like it nice and easy now. I'm getting old. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to do all the hard work anymore. It's too much like hard work, if you get me. And it goes back to A again, okay. I suppose it would do that, okay. That spectacle, a screen cut. Oh, should we do that? Spectacle. Let's see how that works. Does that work okay? Alright. Full screen. It's very different from all the other stuff I use. Very, very different. Uh, take a new screenshot. Is that what I do? Let's have a go. I'm not getting any noises. Okay, so I'll just save as. Yeah, I'll just... Uh, what's that game? In pictures, okay. Let's save. Oh, it tells you where it saved the two. Oh, that's good. I'm liking. Okay. So if I go to my file system, which is there, which is Dolphin, and we go to our pictures, oh, you get a little annotation there. Did you see that? Oh, that's good. That's different, isn't it? But I'm going to open it. Uh, and opens in Gwynview, so make that full screen. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? I don't mind it. Super. Interesting. A bit of a learning curve for me, really, to be honest with you. So, uh, don't have a go. All that closeness. Whoa. I did tell you it's going to be different. And we're using 735 now, okay? So, system setting. Oh, right, system settings I did want to go to. So, we'll click on system settings. Right. Now, this is where I changed my animation speed. And I didn't do nothing with these user feedback stuff. Sorry, I'm going to have a drink now. But in the system settings, you can find most of the stuff you want. Although, it's coming from a non-KDE user, it took a little while for me to get my backside into gear, shall we say. Oh, driver manager. I was looking for this earlier. I went into search and I put additional drivers. And of course, nothing came up. Oh, here we go. What's my password? Let's have a look. Now, remember, we are in the box here, guys. So it's just renamed it really. Using Open VMware, okay. Open source. So it'd probably be better if I use the uh, virtual box drivers, wouldn't it? Really, I might do that tomorrow. I've got so many VMs machines running, babe, or babes even, and guys and gals, that I'm going to keep an eye on how much uh, usage I'm using because I've got 
Only a finite amount of uh, hard disk space. Okay, that was interesting. Now I know where to find it. Software update. Okay, let's have a look. So that's about manual automatically. Yeah, we keep manual. I've already done one big one already, so that's fine. Uh, okay, so we're, we're close, H top. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the RAM. That's all right. Yes, I'm going to close. Thank you. Uh, oh, something. Configured desktop on wallpapers. These are the things I've been through and a little look around, guys. So this is another one I'm going to keep on the system. You did not get some nice desktop backgrounds. Can you see? There's some really, really, really nice. They've really gone on a nice look and got some decent ones. Okay. Where's the one it comes with? Oh, this safe landing. Look, I'm going to show you anyway. Put it up and we've got to apply it and okay it and then we're going to come out of it. Oh my God, it kills my eyes. Too bright, too bright, too bright, too bright. So we go back into configure desktop wallpaper. I will get a nice muted one. Darkish there. That's good for me. We're going to apply that and okay it. Oh, that's better. The KDE bar is too big for me. I would want to make that smaller. I'm sure we can do that. Uh, oh, into edit mode. Okay, what happens then? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'll have to go into it a bit more, really. But from a non KDE user, basically ever, I mean, my KDE was from like back in the day, like real, real back in the day, yeah, when there weren't so many wars going on. But so far, so good. I don't mind it. Oh, um, just boot up Chrome for you, just so you can see before the end of the video, because we're not making them too long. A bit bright, isn't it? But if we type in at the tube, well, somebody also asked me the other day, why well, I don't do the Bubba anymore. I don't use the Bubba as my standard anymore because the Bubba is telling Bubba lies. Uh, it's just, if you're not in the UK, you must understand that the BBC is owned by the government. So it basically has to tow their line. Yeah. And things are not going very well at the moment. No, 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 no. So that's why I don't do the Bubba anymore. Okay. And I wouldn't do Sky either, or CNN, or all the others. It's just not worth it anymore. So that's why we just go back to the tube where nothing's perfect, but we know where we are. Okay, that all plays perfectly well. If I put me in and I'll put my name, just to make sure that I'm there. I'm there. Okay. There's my main page. You can go to my current videos. Fine. Yeah, super. I like it. Not bad. Anyway. Yes, it's improved greatly since the last time I used it. It's very, very polished. Now I know what everybody's going on about. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it on and give it, a, give it a good play, see if I can get how I want it to be. But I do like XFCE. I used to like LXQ as well, or LXDE. But it's not so popular now. And even on older machines, it still uses quite a bit of bump, doesn't it? So... Oh, there's still much going on in the Linux world. There's so much going on that we don't even think about it anymore. The reason why we don't think about it, because things work now. You can just install a distro, and generally, it will just do whatever you want to, and you don't just download the programs you want, and off you go. Yeah, simple as that. What's the first take on this? Kubuntu 22.10. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.